All right, let's get this party started. To get going, get you up in the air, get you some pop. Riding around the resort, you know, riding around wherever you are riding around. There's all kinds of features everywhere. I don't know, you got cat tracks, you got bumps. Start on flat ground, you know, get used to hopping, get used to awling, just down slopes. Start pushing it a little, hitting cat tracks. You know, then you can move over to the terrain park and find yourself a tabletop. Exactly, and there's usually small to big tabletops and different types of kickers in the park. So, it'd be the perfect place to learn. Yeah, and I mean, start off small, you know? The biggest thing with starting to hit a small kicker, it's always good to ride by it once, to check out the landing, because sometimes you don't know what's on the backside. If it's rutted out, there's some bumps. You know, you're looking for something smooth, something that's gonna be friendly. Speed is pretty much the most important thing when hitting a kicker because you have what's called the lip, which is what you can take off of. Then there's the knuckle, which is the top of the landing. And you want to land in the landing. Exactly, you don't want to do, have anything to do with the knuckle because it hurts. But observe other people riding the park. Usually there's some people out there slaying it. And uh, you know, just watch. Really look for those people in the park. See where they're starting from to hit the jump and like, and watch what they're doing. It'll help you out so much with the speed. Cause it is tough to figure out speed sometimes. Yeah, for sure. And you know, conditions change and people have been not necessarily starting at the same point. And uh, different weights affect it too. You know, you see 110, you know, pound little dude riding. And uh, you know, you just ate Thanksgiving dinner and you're weighing a little 210 or something, which isn't bad. But you know, you're gonna have a little bit more momentum. You can, you know, go a little bit farther when you hit a kicker. So just be aware. Once you dial in your speed, which once again is really important because that's what's gonna get you into the landing, into the tranny. That's your goal, is to make it from the lip into the tranny where it's smooth, you're not even gonna feel it. That's, you know, that's right there. That's the joy of cooking on this show. And what do we do? We bend our knees every single time we go into a jump. The athletic stance, we're bent down, we're ready to go. We're ready to ollie off the lip and land in the tranny. Pop or not to pop? Is that even a question? <laughs> yes! If you want to pop, popping is your friend. Alling off the lip. Popping off the lip, if you will. It's important because it's going to give you the control you need. When you hit jumps, if you go to suck up the lip or just ride straight off of them, um, they're pretty much letting the jump control you. But when you actually pop, explode into that off the lip, that's where you're going to get your control. You know, you're going to put yourself, put your body in a position where you want to be. And you'll also be in more control when you come into the landing. Yeah, and usually, usually it's a tabletop setup. You know, you're going up, coming down. And when you suck up or when you just go off it straight, you know, it's, the tendency is to be in the back seat a little bit. We don't want that. You want to be landing forward and square. And when you ollie, it's going to pop you up and put you right where you want to be. 